Hi guys, Nona here. So I'm going to show you This is the Police. I downloaded this game when there was a humble packet humble pack um out and I've never looked back since. It's really awesome. You are basically a police officer, a corrupt one, <laughs> and you have to uh, manage a team of police officers and you have to send them out to crime scenes and hope that they come back alive. I can't remember how far I am on this, so I'm not going to start from the start because that'll take forever. So I'm just going to press continue and you can see the gameplay. Like, I love this game so much. What? What? This isn't the game. Oh yeah, because what the hell is going on? Okay, that's new. <laughs> that's very new. I'm in hospital. What the hell's going on? <laughs> I've played this like a load of times and this has never happened. Why are we in hospital? Okay, I skipped it. So I'm day 50. Yeah, I heard about that already. But what if they decide to spill it to the papers? We need to start thinking now about covering our asses. Mm -hmm. I know people who can deal with this, but they'll need at least a week. Plus, if we want to- Lieutenant Stat, I'm sorry to interrupt you, but I have Jack Boyd on the line. That's us. Who? Jack Boyd, sir. He's calling from the hospital. That's <sighs> us. Gibson, I'll Why are we in the hospital? Don't do anything without my team. Jack, well, wow. I didn't know you were awake. Doctor said you could be in that coma for months, even years. What? How are you feeling? Tell me who's in control, Martin. I can't. I don't remember. think I follow you. For God's sake, Martin, tell me it's you running the department and not some stooge from the mayor's office. Uh, yes, Jack. I am performing the duties of the police chief, but the new man's coming on Saturday, Kevin Paulson. He Kevin Paulson? Yes, it's the guy from the- I know who Kevin Paulson is. Now listen carefully, Martin. I'm yeah, coming back to work. I'm Freeburg's police chief, and it's gonna stay that way for another four months. Now you get on the phone and do whatever needs to be done. You run into any problems, threaten them with the media, court, or blackmail. But I don't think they'll give you any trouble. The mayor knows it's easier to just wait until the winter than deal with a scandal. Oh, and assemble a press conference. Listen, Jack, I know the truth is on your side, but you have to take into account- Martin, how long since you transferred to my department? Uh, coming up on five years now. How many times in the last five years have you come to my birthday party? How many times have you come to the farm when I had the boys over? Uh, Cold out. never had the pleasure. <laughs> But Never. Never. Because you couldn't care less. Because you're a douche. And I don't care for you either, Stet. It wasn't me who appointed you deputy. Men and drama. Uh, you wouldn't have been my first choice. But if you do ever come over to my house, you won't miss the big hole in my backyard. What? Garbage pit. You know, for old rubbish. A smelly hole filled with rotten furniture and other crap. So, Stet, if I even for a moment doubt your devotion, Ooh, you'll go straight into that pile of trash. Ooh. Maybe you'll get to catch up with some old friends. You remember Kendrick, don't you? Uh, I'll Kendrick. schedule the press conference for tomorrow, all right, Jack? The day after tomorrow. Tomorrow I'm going shopping. Oh, wow, well, okay. Interesting. I don't think I've ever got this far, because last time it restarted for some reason and I had to go back to level. Whatever. Ooh, I have a new car. I hope you're fine. Gear yeah, boy. And new clothes. About time. <gasps> and a new hairstyle. And a new attitude. Mm -mm. Ooh, new track. Ooh. Good morning. How can I help you? Thank you. I'll get what I need myself. Thank you. I'm used to making this and vote an assistant. Thank you. I know exactly. Ooh. Be kind. Hmm. 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 Let's go for green. These glasses tighter than that, you'll stop, but nothing. 
You have now new fashionable sunglasses. Just what I need in life. Not really. <laughs> no, that would be too much. Did he just throw them away? What was the point in that? Oh. Ooh, I, I feel I need to skip this because it's like, I don't know. Nobody wants to read them like this. <sighs> wow, Jack, what's with the outfit? You planning on the pit in the backyard, Martin? No. Always remember about the pit in the backyard. <laughs> Don't talk to anyone before the press conference starts. I'll try to get you on stage quickly. Kevin Paulson is here. He wanted to. Jack! I hardly recognize you. That's quite an image for a man like you. An old dog with a new trick, right? We should see each other more often. How long has it been? Last I time I saw you, I fired you, Kevin. Ha! <laughs> you mean the day I resigned in protest? over the corruption and lawlessness at your police department, right? Yeah, repeat that Sorry. shit often enough, someday you might We're start believing it. You know, Jack, I'm glad that everything turned out so well. Unlike you, I've made good use of the past seven years. My new construction company keeps getting jobs from the city, and we're doing really well. I have a new house, new hobbies, even a new wife. Maybe you've met her, Shelly Rogers. Oh, Shelly Rogers. So you really are in bed with the mayor. <laughs> It's a dream come true. All my dreams have come true. Only one thing remains. To bring order to the Freeburg Police Department. <laughs> you being serious, Kevin? I'm serious as ever, Jack. I'm the most serious man you know. It's not often you see the past and the future Freeburg Police Chiefs at the same press conference. <laughs> I hope you have time to talk, Kevin. There's something we need to discuss. Jack, the reporters are waiting for you. It's gonna be interesting. Oh, please say I don't have to do the choice. I don't want to do it. My retirement plan somehow just got turned into a circus. Fortunately, I'm pretty good at swallowing swords and jumping through burning hoops. They all seem to like it. Good morning. Mr. Boyd, is that a new hairstyle? Oh, you yeah. Mr. Boyd, is it? Do you know the person who attacked you? I just need time. Because I don't really remember. I don't remember much about that night, but Mother says my memory might return. City Hall has to give you a de give you a definite answer as to whether you'll be returning to the old post. Do you believe Rogers would decide in your favour? Oh, of course, because I've told him to. Do you think what happened to you how it somehow affected you? We'll see. Well, I guess. Thank you. Day 59. Oh, it's at September 11th. Yay! Oh, I'm too tired. I can only walk straight. Can I go home? Yes. Because last time I got someone who couldn't, who was really tired, I sent them to work and they died. Oh my god, I need some investigation. No. I need someone. It's my dog's birthday. I spent time with. No. No. Too tired. Oh, she's an alcoholic. Uh, yes. Why is everyone saying they're tired? Yes. No. Oh, wow. So I have two people here and investigators. You're an alcoholic, I see. Start the day. Ooh, what song shall I choose? I'm gonna go with this one. Sorry. 
cut off there. <laughs> okay, so I'm starting the game. Um, one of the police officers has completed their course and now they've been um, promoted. I've hired two new people and we're just going to resume. Um, they've also said that the um, department, well, any police officers are getting attacked. You go. So best to go in a team of two, so they don't get beaten to death. I hope I don't lose any of my team. Found a quarter thing, so. Well done, guys. I always take like a high rank and then a low rank because it evens out then and it gives the low rank a chance to get higher. <laughs> okay with these you usually get other pictures and you have to like add them to the frame, look through the testimonies of the witnesses to see what's happened. Saw a little fellow in a white jacket. We ordered the cherry juice, drank a bar, and then went to the bathroom with some bearded guy. I thought they were just li for a little tickle. You know, you see, a lot of these these days. But when the other folks around the found the bearded guy with his nose in the toilet, I knew the guy in the jacket was up to no good. The man suffered a heart attack brought on by cocaine use. He lost con consciousness, fell down and hit his head. The man was rushed to intensive care. His condition was serious but stable. One of the boots had broken toilet, and on the floor beneath was an empty cocaine bag sitting in a pool of blood. I saw a kid in a silly white jacket running out of the club, ran like the devils were after him. Wish I had some of whatever we were on. I was doing my eyes at the bathroom room when I heard a terrible roar on the other side of the hall. Me and my friend went to see what was happening and found a drug addict lying on the floor. Of course we called an ambulance, but it might have be been better if he didn't make it. These smelly druggies only stink up the air in our beautiful planet. Interesting. I love the music on here, it kind of just makes it a fun ride. Please, no one be dead. Officer caught. Officer's unharmed. Yay. In a dirty basement, a tea, tea drink old man is sticking around inside a young man's ripped open. Ooh, All the old man to be slowly away from page before now, but it's Yay! You shall get them in the shot. just having a special moment with her boyfriend. Wow. Still can't put spot out, so proceed boys! Go go go! Like it's just a simple game really. You do have to have some strategy though because like the first time I played this game I killed most of my team by day 10. And look at me now, I'm on day 59. Don't be jelly. Ooh, I can put a swap team of these. So, no. No, no. Yeah, don't blame me, I didn't say it. Stupid thing. Jesus, dude, we can't go there alone. Pick someone up. Uh oh. We're gonna die. Goodbye, fellow soldiers. It's night time. 
See, you're doing brilliant, guys. Keep it up. Keep it up. Let's keep... Oh. This is why I was like, oh, when people moan that they're tired, you should let them have a day off. But that was most of us staff. Oh, you idiot woman. Oh. Okay, it was my fault. I can see her dying as well. Okay. The van is empty, but the engine is still warm. The air is silent and dark. Turn on flashlight, run into the roots. Enter the forest, try not to make any noise. Wait in ambush near the van. Oh. So that's two dead. Great. You. You. Oh, can't use the swap team. Sorry. This ain't gonna go well. Ah! <laughs> I don't want them to die. It's so awkward because you have to choose on whether to go declare it or to leave it for another day. Oh, please don't do it. Open investigation. Right, going white jacket. Mm. Okay. And that's where they did the deal. Okay, so I'll do the last one. Uh, let's read this. Sometimes I like to walk the city at night. I had to just take him out of the. Ooh, I had just taken him out after a long business dinner. We pulled up to the dark, up to the park near the monument, and I didn't notice anything suspicious. Although they were a grey truck and didn't have any license plates, it followed us into the park and the restaurant. But then it turned off somewhere. Mr. Partsy died immediately on impact. A heavy vehicle struck him at high speed. The bruises on his body show traces of grill, so you might be looking at a jeep or a truck. Soft tissue contained fragments of a windshield, so it happens that the blow was strong enough to throw his body into the air and through the windshield. The victim's clothes show traces of grey paint. So, it's definitely this. I run into the park at night. Uh, tonight I heard the roar of a motorcycle, so I went to check it out. I thought it was bikers who liked to race in the empty roads, but when I ran close, I saw the road was empty. Then I saw the body, so I called the police. Motorcycle tire tracks and shattered glass were found at the crime scene. At nearby intersection, a Svasian camera recorded a group of bikers, and behind them, you can keep, make out a grey jeep with a crack at the window shield. Okay, interesting. Uh, she was she was oh, please guys come back it's one o'clock in the morning you can do this don't die just don't die oh daddy was called into car called her to bring me reports it was pierce she was drunk i told you she was gonna die didn't i oh that's three dead fucking alcoholic I knew she was gonna die. Yes, so predictable. I need to make sure that I fight any alcoholics because they always cause this issue. Yay, if I'm called, I'm going to call off some harm. Yay. This is mean, what I mean about being corrupt because we can either like send it to the police station or get money from the mafia for it. Hmm. Got twenty six thousand. We'll take it to the police station for once in our life. If it's drugs, I always give it to the mafia or guns. And the day. <sighs> hmm. 
do I declare her dead or do I not? We'll delay that paperwork because she's an idiot. We'll declare your dead and we'll declare your dead. In the day. Impressive recovery, Mr. Boyd. I'm still not happy about how He's soon you're back to work. Well, not happy as your doctor. As a resident of Freeburg, I'm immensely grateful for it. Really? <laughs> Just don't tell anyone, or they'll pull my license. Well, thank you again for coming to see me at night. Oh, well, whatever you need, Mr. Boyd. Any doctor in this town would come running any hour, day or night, you can believe me. You're not suffering from headaches. It says here that you are taking painkillers after a back injury. But the prescribed dose is enough to us. Dr. Krachinsky, you trust me? And, uh, sorry? Do you trust me? In what way, Mr. Boyd? You think I'm an honest and reasonable man, Doctor? You're joking, Mr. Boyd. Thanks to you, my wife finally agreed to buy a house here, and we decided to have children. Aww. Thanks to you, I'm not afraid to visit my patients at night. Aww. I think you are the most honest and reasonable person in the city, Mr. Boyd. Great. You see, Dr. Krachinsky, uh, I'm an addict. Oh. Why? Mr. Boyd. Is, uh, is well, not a drug addict in the way you might imagine. I'm not some weak-willed junkie. Uh. Sometimes I stay clean so long that the tablets stay locked in the barn so long they go past the expiration date. But there are less pleasant stories. You know what? Let's... I once took a whole bottle right there in the barn, passed out my own vomit. I almost choked. I fought the convulsions, somehow managed to break four ribs. For two weeks, my chest was so sore, I wanted to die. But for those two weeks, I kept swallowing pills. Couldn't stop. If you want, I could... I once took a dose right before a party at home. My wife, Laura, had some old friends over from college. And I didn't take that many, maybe five or six pills, but it felt like I'd taken a few hundred. I passed out while I was carrying a tray of drinks. On the way down, I knocked over a set of Laura's scented candles. The house oh, almost burned that's... down. The repairs took a good chunk from our savings. Yeah, Mr. Did. Boyd, if you'll allow me, I just... Uh... As you can see, Doctor, I'm well aware of the seriousness of the situation and the possible consequences. But sometimes I need the pills. At the doctor. I don't use the word lightly. Sometimes I've got to work on cases with more energy than I've got. I can't do it without them. You can. And I know you want me doing my job. So tomorrow I want you to come here and bring me some tablets. Lots of tablets. Ten bottles. Not a better fifteen. Well, yeah, fifteen not bottles. The next three months are going to be extremely difficult, Doc. How can I, I would like to discuss your... Uh, You'll bring the pills, Doctor? Oh my god, let him talk. Uh, yes, Mr. Boyd. Yes. Very good. Look, I don't want to trouble you any further. I bet your family doesn't like you running away with me at night. <laughs> I bet they'd rather I was still in that coma. <laughs> yep. Look, I know we're corrupt, but Jesus. What's <laughs> up? I drank too much, I don't think I can hold it together. Yes, the alcoholic was up and I couldn't sleep. Now I have ringing in my ears. I cannot take you, yes. I'm too tired, yes. I'm not giving the same mistake as I did yesterday. I don't like that these are cassettes now. Mm. What shall we listen to today? I'll do this one. Job start off Yay! Oh. <laughs> You need to go to team A because I killed most of them. And you can as well because, yeah, no, it's that way.
This is what I mean. I can't get this. Like, I don't understand what happened. Because there's like two scenarios. I'll figure it out for one day. Well done getting home. Happy. Yes, 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 yes. This team's doing well so far. Turns out that Mr. Paul's neighbour had just bought a new TV and watching some part of the floor. It's kind of bugging me that he's got rape a lot in here, so it's just stupid. Always timing as well. Jason Pooh has lost consciousness and he's shaking and convulsing on the ground. There's foam and around miles. Keep his head elevated so it like Good ecstasy. I'll do that one. The homeless man is still hiding in the transformer structure. The entrance is made of blood. I don't know the man to Shoot out the refuse with your sidearm and run inside. Knock on the door and then step to one side. Yeah, boy. They're really good. You know Percy? He literally he is someone's family, and he used to be really bad. But I'm so glad he's on my team now. He's tending to stay in free work, which will be widely covered by the TV and media. Grim employees from the city services, including the police, should come. Well, you, you, you. Jackie. I found a cord. Office hasn't harmed. Yay. Need to wait for everyone to return. Come on, boys. Yes, yes, yes. Ooh, okay. Who's next? Jack, why are you in hospital? Oh, yeah. I forgot about that. Okay. okay, everyone's back. That's good. No one's dead yet. It's even better. Okay, so you want a barren woman? Look at him. He's one thousand. Yes, boy. Oh. Okay, one more. Don't die, please. You're in good nick, so don't die. That's all I ask. Stay alive. Keep alive, my potatoes. Massive fight. Off the fender called Officer Renard. Yay! Well done, Percy. Well done. Not you. Not you. Proceed. Need to wait for everyone to come back. Hopefully, no one will die and we won't have any more. Um, crimes, and we all can just end the day here. Yeah. So I'm so proud of you, girl. Come on then. A man is standing outside the window, pressing his nose against glass and touching himself a little bit close. Join the guy. <laughs> No offence, but you never see women do that. You never hear of a you never hear of a woman flasher, do you? No, you don't hear a woman flasher. You and you receive. I need more people back. No one is trying to steal cars. The vehicle security system is too sensitive and raxy to even the slightest noise. That's good to know. 
I like the false ones because then I know that my team are definitely safe and not going to die. I get so get attached to things like this. It's really sad. No. We're doing so well. Send the day. I'll declare you dead. I'll declare you dead. I'm so sorry. We need more people. I feel like I'm behind more people. Mr. Boyd, I'm going home. Uh, do you need anything? Oh, no. No, I'll don't go. go. I need to talk to you. I won't keep you long. I just need to make one phone call and I'll be right out, okay? Okay. Of course, Mr. Boyd. Where's my pills? Uh, do you know what time it is? I didn't mean the... Uh, well, maybe I did. Guess I'm a son of a bitch. Yeah, Jack? I actually don't like Good it. Good lord, Jack, I wanted to talk to you. Was wondering if you'd call. How do you feel? I'm good, Mrs. Markham. Better than ever. The back pain is gone, the insomnia is gone, my hair is growing back, and my pathological indecisiveness seems to have run off somewhere. Jack, if you think I had anything to do with that... I'll waste no more time trying to think, Mrs. Markham. Every second counts. There's really, a lot I'm, to do. I'm really starting to not like One of those things is finding Even though Laura. I'm the character, Jack, I don't your like tone it. is scaring me. Good. Turns out I have a knack for that. Scaring people. So, Mrs. Markham, I'm going to look for my wife, and if you somehow get in my way, I'll send a special squad to your house. First they'll throw your dog in the fire, then they'll arrest you for prostitution. What? What, what the heck? Prostitution? Sometimes it's necessary to invent charges. It's not like I can arrest you for being an unbearable bitch. Who? Jesus. Emma, I need a detective. Oh, of course, Mr. Boyd. What shift? No, 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 not one of ours. A private detective. Oh. Um... I know that when your father stole your mother's jewelry and left her, you hired a private investigator. You didn't go to the police. Uh, you know, Mr. Boyd, it was a family problem, and we felt that it would... I understand perfectly, Emma. You don't need to explain anything. I'm in a similar situation. As you might have heard, my wife left the house. She's missing, you could say. It's because you're pregnant. I'm not sure what you're... I know you've heard all about it. I want her found, but I don't want the department involved. Same reason you didn't. So I decided to hire your private detective. Think you can arrange it? Oh, of course, Mr. Boyd. I'll call him and arrange everything. And don't worry, he'll keep it a secret. Fine. Uh, what do you need from me? Well, just gather all the information that might be useful and put it in an envelope, bring it to me, and I'll take it to him. Good. Okay, take the day off tomorrow and get a good night's sleep. The day after tomorrow, I'll have that envelope for you. I really don't like it. Day 61. Crocodile found in the city river. Farming climbs, government pours in harvest. Projection is accidentally placed Pulled at last picture show. <laughs> they easily didn't come back today. The court decided the custody case of my children today. They're crying and afraid that they won't be able to live with me. I have to get this hearing. Yes. I'm too tired. I'm too tired. To be honest, you don't really do much, so. I've got to feed my fish back at the house. <laughs> no. I'm too tired, yes. Okay. Well, he looks like he's half dead anyway. Let's try this. What shall we listen to today? Fire in the brain. For several 
appears to be constantly being pestered by the LGB organisation, which is a constant whining about gay rights. Recently, things have been relatively quiet, but last week, three high school teachers were fired under laws banning the promotion of homosexuality among adolescents. These teachers spread LGB brochures among our children's school children, teaching them tolerance. We dismiss them to be dismissed them fairly in accordance with the law, but activists are gathered outside the school writing and protests, so they should be. The children aren't there to learn about men kissing and all the rest of the circus. The part of the need to be taught a lesson, so I think Charles What? No. You receive the speaking salary of your dead employees. We'll take 50%. Here's your salary. We'll put the squat team up there. Officers and a wagon. Wow, let's hope nothing else serious happens. Jack, the teachers were actually fired according to local law, barbaric as it is. However, the protesters have the right to assemble and express themselves as long as no longer are the I have a couple of ideas on how you can recover a few things. Everything gets rubber. Trevor, we could go put forward an official recording of police car chatter but one of the officers involved in suppressing the protest services talks about how teachers are gay as well discussing news about the teachers to a phone or say even better if we stick them all in a gas chamber the forward letter complete with a church seal listing secrets that you supposedly shared with the confidential profession of years ago or to read for it for sec for sec who to keep it out and get any comparison all out of the postscript in which the bishop allergy requires you to punish the settlements, threatening otherwise to close. I don't know. Let's buy some people by that then. Shift B. when there's protests because you get half the team gone. The situation is more serious than before. Go on then. We'll get people back soon. Come on, I need people back. Yes. Go, go, go. Oh. I have no one else to give you. Everyone else is on a thing. I'm gonna lose that one. Off the service go. Off the service go. Great. We'll ask the mafia to sell it. Yeah. We're very good, are we? Come on, I need everyone home. Through the glass doors, you can see a male figure trying to climb on top of a struggling woman who's, who he's thrown onto a couch. A schoolgirl is crying loudly. A fender cord. A officer's unharmed. Yeah, boy. Okay, we'll send you and you and we'll send the swap team. Sure. If you die now, I won't be impressed. <laughs> the 
man was farted by a horror film festival. False alarm. some time today. No one's dead, hopefully. I said that last time and people died, didn't they? Don't curse yourself, no, no. Sworn oath to serve the city. If you can't keep our promises, we don't keep ours. From what? I'm confused. What did I do wrong? I don't need to come. Just makes everything better. No one was crawling, the man was working out, working out to a loud TV, the woman was making a salad, cut her finger rather badly and was running to a neighbour's to call an ambulance. Her husband was only trying to stop the bleeding from the towel. Alright, lots of false alarms these days, isn't there? The man in question is the medical student who also runs at night. There's too many of these false ones, I don't like it. drank at the bar and then went to the bathroom with some bearded guy. I thought they were just up for a little tickle. Okay, so yeah. So. And he chopped them and then he dies. I did it. Fixed it. We'll take you and you see you. black sedan pull up building and two men in a grey coat got out and passed me without saying anything. I heard the elevator and turned the oh it's these guys. Okay. Okay guys, I'm going to leave it there. If you want to see more of this, please let me know. Like I say, I'll get really into it and I don't like making my team die. Um, I know at some point it does let me fire people, so if you want to see that and, um, you know, see what it's like to fire people and how to choose it, <laughs> um, let me know. Comment below if there's anything else you want me to put, um, play. I've got Destiny 2, Killer Floor, um, just downloaded Call of Duty, the one that's like Fortnite, but it's not Fortnite. Um, I have got Sims. Uh, I'm trying to think what else I've got. I've got a few other games. Just let me know, and if you know a website I can download games from so that I can test out, let me know. 
I'll see you on the next one guys. Like, share, subscribe and hit the notification bell button. Bell, whatever. And I'll talk to you soon. Bye.